Hey everyone, what is up guys? It's uh, Techbug2012 here. Uh, I, uh, to my Animal Jam subscribers, don't unsubscribe. I will keep on making Animal Jam music videos, but uh, my account is uh, Animal Jam and Tutorials, uh, mostly on After Effects. Today in After Effects, we are going to be making the self-filling cup. And I'm going to show you what it will look like right now. Um, this is the best one. So here's our footage that we had. Here's what it will look like. That was a leftover of Sunkist, so the cup wasn't full completely. Um, an okay one is this one, which is not perfect, it has multiple flaws. You can really see, uh, liquid the liquid coming in so that's not too good but anyway if you just give it some time you can make a very good um a very good self-filling cup video so of course you need after effects for this and basically you need a footage of you pouring in a liquid just like that just like that so start where you uh you know have it blank all uh, all blank and you want to hit command D or control D for Windows users to duplicate it so once you've duplicated it go into your second clip right click sorry hit time freeze frame now it will just be a still image maybe well not too much anyway go to where you start pouring in the liquid right to about here and the first thing you want to do you want to get this pen tool and you want to draw a nice mask around the cup like this drawing a mask around the cup removes your hand and any other unnecessary things that you would want in your self-filling cup video so as you can see it removes your hand and just like that now, um, the reflection will not match. See, because the reflection, nothing's being poured in in the reflection. So if you have a reflection, if you don't skip this part, but if you do, uh, draw a mask around the reflection, and then it will match. And uh, <clears throat> now if you have any reflection here, you can take the, uh, the rectangle tool and draw a mask there. Put it on subtract which I'll show you how to do later uh, but the last mask we're gonna be drawing is go to where you really do start pouring in the liquid right here draw a mask around the liquid as well so just draw a mask here um, don't make it too thin yeah that's kinda bad alright so you have your mask around the liquid now go into here click this arrow go to masks yeah let me delete these and redo it and I'll get back to you guys okay so now I have a nice mask around here and mask 3 is over here first thing you want to do you want to click where it says add and change it to subtract and this will remove the liquid but uh, you'll notice that since it's on subtract, it will remove this as well. So go to where you start pouring in the liquid and go into um, mask 3, uh, keyframe mask path. And now whenever you see this, just move this and I'll get back to you when I'm done. Okay, so I have finished making my mask. Um with masks it should look like this this mask should be moving around since you keyframed it so it should 
keep on moving around and I see I made a flaw so I'll get back to you once I fix that okay so uh, without masks it will look something like this it should be filling up by itself at first you'll have some flaws um yeah let so if you have any flaws it's best to go back and correct them you know move this mask but make sure it's still on uh, mask path and click mask path so that way you'll be able to move your mask um thought I saw something here nope um it's it's all good so yep okay anyway when you're done it should look something like this with your masks it should look pretty well done you might have some flaws but if you'd like perfect at ed perfect editing uh, go ahead I'm just rushing through this anyway uh, a good thing to do is to go into mask 3 and feather it feather it out to 20 so go in here mask feather do not keyframe it just feather it out to 20 around 20 that way it will blend in nicely and it won't look like uh, you just stuck something in so now to get rid of this uh, what you can do you can just keyframe it and feather it out a lot but that will also uh, put the liquid in which we do not want but uh, this is the short way if you feather it enough but it does add the liquid anyway let's uh, not keyframe it go back to 20 there we go uh, the normal way that usually works best is to go on your first one uh, click here to hide the masks you want to hide the mask it just works better you want to duplicate it twice keep on your first one go to effect generate fill and it will just fill it in like this now you want to do you want to delete okay sorry anyway you want to remove this mask so keep on your first one and go here masks and mask 3 hit delete and since you now you have this you want to move this to the bottom of everything now go to your second one and close masks go to transform and keyframe position scale and rotation now what you can do you can move the cup around so start where hide the masks start where you start pouring it in and move the cup so that it fills it in you can move it in any direction I really don't care uh, it's, for me it suits me moving it right and just do it frame by frame by frame by frame by frame by frame until there's no hole so I'll get back to you when I'm done with the cup okay so now I'm done with the cup as you can see I feathered this mask a bit too much but you want to be careful with this mask because once you delete it you can't go back and edit it without starting over the whole process which I doubt you will want to do anyway after you're done with this you want to close everything click this you want to uh, you'll want to pre-compose it so go to layer pre-compose or command shift C I'm gonna call this cup you can call it whatever you want you want to click move all attributes that's this is very important click OK now this is pre-composed now move your uh, filled one over your cup so here's your fill now go to your cup uh, it will look like this hit toggle switches modes go here click it and click the first one alpha mat and it'll bring everything into one cup so once you're done it should look something like this and if you uh, feathered it out well it should look nicely and actually I honestly think this is my best work uh, if I hadn't feathered everything out so it looks like this So if I hadn't feathered it out too 
much. This is this would be my second best work. Uh, if you want to render it, uh, go ahead. I uh, made a render video, but I'm just gonna show you real quickly here. Just do what I do. If you wanna know how to uh, render it, just watch my render video. Don't forget to subscribe. Ugh. Save it. Render it. Wait for it to render. There, you're done. Another thing you can do if you'd like to fix it up, what you can do, you can go to your first one, uh, show the masks, and draw one more mask above the liquid, keyframe the mask, or actually masks are already keyframed. No, no, no. So keyframe the mask uh, by hitting mask path, and uh, just keep on moving it above the liquid. But I don't do that because I think it just takes longer. If you want a perfect work, it will take you about 20 minutes. But I rushed through this because uh, I, I'm not a Screencast-O-Matic member, as you can see, because the logo, um, why is it, okay, the logo is here. So, anyway, uh, I don't want to bore you with anything else. So, uh, that's pretty much how you make a self-filling cup. Uh, if you're not an Animal Jam subscriber, check out my Animal Jam music videos anyway. Um, so far, as of today, I've made uh, f um, Hello, Dark Side, and uh, that's uh, <laughs> pretty much it. Uh, subscribe to me if you want more After Effects tutorials. If you have uh, any specific tutorial tutorials that you would like, um leave it in the comments or send me a personal message uh... anyway guys rate uh... like it if it helped comment for any questions and uh... don't forget to subscribe for a new video every week thanks guys see you guys later